The sky park link has never been abandoned. We just terminated the service. The track is still around and we, we continue to maintain the track. So the service was terminated because of road ridership. As mentioned before, uh, we have a, a real service between Subang Airport up to KL Central uh, to connect between the KL uh, uh, transport terminal to this particular airport. So it was terminated last year because of road ridership, because not many people take the train. It's just less than 100 a day. But the track is still there. And we have mentioned that uh, once the terminal is up and running, then the train will be resumed. And we are working towards that, but on a new model. So we are looking of how to revive that particular service based on a new model, probably a, a joint venture or, 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 or collaboration with other parties. So that definitely the uh, Sky Park Link or the rail service is part and parcel of the Subang uh, regeneration plan. Uh, because the government spent a few hundred million just to build the track. So def def definitely we are not going to waste that, uh, that money. So the track is uh, readily available. And with the terminal, we hope that we can uh, draw in more passengers to the, to, to the airport. And as you know, this is one of the most congested areas uh, in, uh, in Klang Valley. You know, leading up from Subang Airport to Federal Highway, this is one of the most congested areas. I don't come here at 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so we really want to make that uh, a train service as part and parcel of this particular airport. And that will make it very attractive for people to travel from Kuala Lumpur coming here, less than probably 20 minutes, then they can take a flight here. So definitely that will be a resume once uh, the terminal is up.